What's up guys, my name is Mitchell coming to you from beautiful Perry, Utah, outside of Maddox Ranch House, the classic family restaurant. What we want to talk about today is the Aventon Adventure. Now for the past two months, if you count the version one and the version two of this bike, it's been our best selling bike in the shop and it's shaping up to do that too this month. So we want to look at kind of what is so impressive about this bike. Why is it that everybody seems to be so fascinated with the Aventon Adventure to where it's outselling every other bike in our Perry location? by a pretty significant margin. Now, there is a commonality in the typical Aventon Adventure customer that we're seeing, and that's that typically these bikes are purchased by couples, whether that's an older couple kind of getting near retirement, looking to get some extra riding in, or maybe it's a kind of younger couple looking to do some riding together after work each night. This is very much a couple's bike from what we're seeing. And like I alluded to, these couples are not looking for some real hardcore riding. These are people that are looking to do casual riding, maybe around the neighborhood, at campsites when they're camping, maybe even some light trail riding, but they're not looking to tear up or down a mountain at high speeds requiring a ton of suspension. These are people that just want to be able to have fun with their bike and get out after work and do a little bit extra riding. And that's where this bike really excels. With these 4 inch by 26 inch tires, it's a little bit more manageable than a 29 inch tire on a typical mountain bike or 27.5. And on top of that, you get the 4 inches of width so that you can kind of take it off road just a little bit. On top of that, you get the 750 watt motor, which does give you a lot more power than kind of these typical entry level e-bikes, where typically you're only getting a 500 watt motor. For the actual price tag, this bike does deliver. It's hard to beat at $18.99. It's going to get you around and do you most of the casual riding that you do want to do. Aventon is also a brand that's really known for being durable, having good build quality. It's not the most insane build quality that you can find on the entire market, but for the price point, it is hard to beat this kind of build quality and dependability. For the amount that we sell out of these bikes, you would expect us to have more come back to the shop than we do. But really, it is pretty rare that we actually have to work on anybody's Aventon Adventure. Now, with the newest version 2 of the Adventure, like you're looking at here, Aventon's added a couple new pieces of technology. The first is a torque sensor, which is going to make for a much more responsive ride. Basically, the amount of pressure that you apply to your pedal, the motor is going to try and give you a corresponding amount of assistance. So if you're pedaling hard, it's going to give you more assistance. If you're pedaling lighter, it's going to give you less assistance. On top of that, they've added these little blinkers and brake lights to both sides, which is just a nice little touch if you're going to be riding around the city at all. Now, the actual componentry on this e-bike is nothing insane. It's nothing to write home about. You get 80 millimeters of travel on the actual front suspension, and the brakes themselves are good quality. We haven't had too many issues. But where this bike really excels is the actual feeling that you get when you sit on this bike. It sits you up straight, and you feel kind of more like you're on a motorcycle than an actual bike. The sounds that it makes, the way that it feels when you're riding this bike around is really, truly incredible. If you have the time, I recommend you come out, give it a test ride because this bike is truly one of a kind and has great value for what it is.